Okay, hi there, I'm Carl Escape Cheddar and today is a little fun experiment for us. Our friends at Chilliwack Ford here in British Columbia, Canada, have given us the F-150 Lightning. This is the XLT version. And what we're really specifically interested in is how it will tow an escape trailer. And for anyone who doesn't know who escape trailer are, of course, we're North America's most customized and personalized fiberglass one-piece travel trailer, and we build it for you. So here we have the F-150 all electric, so the F-150 Lightning, and we have our Escape 19 attached at the back of it. The Escape 19 runs 5,000 pounds GVWR. It is a tandem axle trailer, and it generally tows incredibly well. But what we're really interested in doing is take this trailer down the road and see how much energy it consumes. So we're gonna start off, we'll note how many kilometers we have available or how much energy we have available in this vehicle. And then when we get to the, when we get back, we're only gonna do about a 28 kilometer round trip. We'll see what we have left. I think there's a, a fair bit of work to be done on the battery packs in these, um, in these vehicles. I do know they have an extended range one. Harrison will put up the specs on this specific one. And um, then at some point, maybe we'll get an extended range one and we can really see what these trucks will be capable of in the future. Something that we're not gonna test today that we may test in the future is the ability for this to act as shore power for your travel trailer. But you know what, first of all, let's just do a quick sort of scan around the setup that we have here. I know a lot of people will be interested in the F-150 Lightning. And uh, we're just gonna pop the hood on the front and see what this looks like, because it really is quite fun. There we go, up it comes. So one thing that's, that's really quite interesting, especially for our customers with the Escape fifth wheel trailers, is you have a lot of extra storage right up here in the front of your vehicle. Of course, when a person's pulling a fifth wheel, they lose a certain amount of storage capability in the back of their truck. This then adds some great capability, uh, great capability for you. But really, for all people with RVs, it's all about distance that you can travel and uh, your ability to, to charge up or even how long it takes to, to charge up. And we'll put some specs up on how long it takes this vehicle to, to charge up. But look, come with me, let's take a quick, quick walk around the rest of the setup that we have. So we can see it connected here at the back. We have the Escape 19. This is a, um, this is a beautiful model of ours. Without further ado, let's jump in this truck Take it for a spin, we'll do a 28 kilometer round trip and then we'll see what we've got left. Okay, so we just jumped into the truck. Um, beautiful dash, obviously beautiful display in this vehicle. What I have noticed instantly is once I've connected up the, the trailer on the rear, this has gone from a range of 303 kilometers down to 178 kilometers. Now I'm assuming that the, the 303 kilometers range that this showed me initially was based off of some of the driving habits that the people have been, uh, people who have been using this truck previously. And, you know, as you can imagine, everyone wants to feel what the acceleration is like in a truck like this. So it probably been hammering it pretty hard, but this says 178 kilometers of range. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the percentage available to us and we'll, we'll see where that is when we get back. And then we'll try to deduce what the, the real range of this would be while we're pulling a travel trailer. Now the trailer we have on the back comes in around 3,600 pounds and it is empty. So it's not loaded, there's no water in the tanks and there's no other, um, other items in this trailer. Okay, so let's get on our trip and see what it feels like. So of course, the first thing we notice here, Harrison, is there is no noise and this is just, this is very quiet, obviously, <laughs> electric vehicle. Um, but the other electric vehicles I've driven in the past, you can hear a lot of the, the wheel noise or the road noise. Um, I don't even feel the trailer on the back, but you know, it, it kind of is the same when I'm driving the five liter V8, right? Apart from hearing the noise, you don't feel the trailer on the back. We have a very light trailer, it pulls very well. Here we go. So for any of you who haven't been to Chilliwack in British Columbia, when you look out at the mountains here in front of us, it's just an absolutely beautiful location and a beautiful sight for everybody. It really is a wonderland place to live. I've always been really interested in renewable energies or alternate energies as ways of powering and transportation, very specifically. And I'm really interested in, in electrical because I think there are, you know, RVs themselves 
have such great potential for using renewable renewable energies. Um, it's so much easier to manage than, you know, as a, a huge population of any sort or even houses. Because anyone who's in their RV, using their RV, very quickly becomes very conscious of the need to manage your power and your power consumption or, or even your, your fuel consumption. This really does pull beautifully. But then again, the escape trailer is a very nice recreational vehicle to pull. Okay, so we're just going to take ourselves out onto the highway. I tend not to drive too fast when I'm, when I'm pulling an RV. So we're kind of hovering here at just 90 kilometers an hour. It's a little bit on the speed limit, but sure, if you're in an RV, you're not going anywhere fast. You can really can take it easy. And there's no need to go, there's no need to go at speed. So as I said earlier, we're going on a, this is a 28 kilometer round trip that we're going to take. It's pretty flat, right? So we're not really taking any hills into account. But then again, we don't have the uphill, nor do we have the downhill portion of it. So it's a fairly steady, you might say, effort or a fairly steady um, draw on the batteries in this vehicle. Well, everything's behaving very well. Apart from it being very quiet, there's no real difference from a straight up towing perspective, as you would expect. I mean, I'm sure the chassis, the axles and, and the like are very much the same as they were put into the standard F-150s. So the one thing I will say for this, especially with the, even with the electric vehicle and the, um, and the trailer behind is acceleration is just so incredibly smooth and fast, which is kind of nice. So it's like, so you're pulled over on the side of the road and you need to get going again. This will, this will get you there exceptionally quickly. So it is a very nice field, very smooth, progressive. And yeah, has no problem getting you there quickly. Of course, range will suffer, right? So, you know, the harder we, we work the throttle, the more range will suffer. So we're doing, we're pulling about 57 kilowatt hours per kilometer, per 100 kilometers at the moment. Okay, so we've turned around. We're on our way back. We're almost back and did a little bit better on the way back. So we're currently running at about 54 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers. I'm yeah, I'm assuming this is not an instantaneous reading. Uh, it's pretty close, but oh, it's taking the regenerative braking into effect. That's what's going on. But this pulls so beautifully. Now the escape trailer pulls really well anyway, but the one thing I'm noticing, which is, is just so nice, is the acceleration. So there's no, you don't, obviously there's no gears, so there's no gear change happening. It seems effortless and smooth. That's the best way I can describe it. I, I really like this vehicle. And I do believe that as battery technology improves, and of course it will improve over time, the range of these vehicles will improve. The, the charging capabilities will also improve. Now, one thing from an RV perspective, when you're to especially when we're, we're towing RVs and we know we're going to have less range than, than one would with, the, with a gasoline vehicle, of course, the one big challenge is going to be charging time. And I know there are some stats on this one, which I believe is getting from 15% to 100% takes you about 10 hours. Um, and that depends on the type of charger that you have or the voltage of that charger. So 10 hours is an awful long time to only get you, you know, potentially 150 kilometers. So which, so my, my conclusion at the moment is Maybe even, you know, okay, let's pretend there was even a, the extended range doubled the battery and doubled the distance that we could travel. Then that's still getting us only 300 kilometers. And I compare that to what we get in our, I mean, our gasoline vehicle, we get somewhere in the range of six to 700 kilometers, depending on the terrain. Okay, so we're back at Escape. We did our 28.2 kilometer round trip. The range now is 147 kilometers and the summary was up just it just flipped off here it was 54 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and that is towing somewhere around 3600 pounds on a tandem axle escape 19 travel trailer i think my conclusion on this is beautiful vehicle to drive really nice towing experience so that part is absolutely is, is absolutely wonderful no issues there i think the range might be an issue 
for most folks. Uh, maybe if you get the extended range battery on this, and I don't know how much that would change things, but even if it got us up to maybe 300 kilometers, you're still pretty limited because your recharge time from 15% up to up to 100% is potentially in the region of 10 hours, depending on what charger you've got. So probably not the most practical vehicle for a customer to use, unless maybe you're an early adopter or you just happen to have one. And um, and you only and you only only needed to go, you know, maybe a couple of hundred kilometers, maybe with an extended battery pack, to get to your campsite, and then from there you could find some way to to recharge your batteries. So beautiful experience. Thank you very much, everyone. I'm Carl at Escape Trailer, and remember, we're built for you.